ladies, my name is Allison Coates. My husband Clayton and I, we lead R116 Ministries together and you can watch us lead and teach other videos. But for today and in the future, whenever you see just me on a video, more than likely I'm here only to speak to women. And so today we're going to look at one of my favorite verses in the Bible that talks about women and it's found in Proverbs 31. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Three things that scream out to me right off the bat that God gets us and He knows us. It's this, charm, beauty, and fearing the Lord. Charm. Many times charm can be associated with our personalities. And sometimes our personalities are up, sometimes they're down, they're all over the place. Charm is deceitful. Our personalities, our emotions can trick us. Beauty is vain. God calls us out right here. He knows that we are concerned about our outward appearance and He calls us out saying beauty is vain. It's selfish. He sees us. He knows us. And then there's this. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. A woman. This doesn't refer to a single woman. This doesn't say a married woman. This doesn't say a woman with kids or without kids, one that stays at home, one that works. It just says a woman. A woman who fears the Lord. Now, I want us to camp out at this second half of the verse. A woman who fears the Lord. Now, what type of fear is this? When we first hear the word fear, my or when I first hear the word fear, my mind immediately goes to being afraid and worrying. Now, we as women, we've got this down and we don't need any help on, we don't have to be taught how to worry because that's just like one of those things that's just in us, we just do. And, and it's sinful and we can talk about that another time. But this is referring to a godly fear. This is referring to a fear that is reverent, a fear that is respectful. And you think, well, well, what is this godly fear? Like, how do you define a godly fear? Because in our human minds, we've got the worldly fear down. We've got being afraid down. We've got worrying down. But a godly fear, what does that look like? Well, also in Proverbs, you can find a definition of fear, of a godly fear, and it is Proverbs 9, 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Notice it says here, the beginning of wisdom. Now, in order to gain wisdom, in order to gain knowledge, you've got to seek it. You've got to go looking for it. It just doesn't come upon you. You've got to ask questions. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So this verse where it says, a woman who fears the Lord, a woman who seeks wisdom, who seeks knowledge. And how do we get this knowledge? How do we get this wisdom? We have to go looking for it. And the only place you can find it, it's in here. And I want to encourage you that if you are in a place to where you are worried, you are fearful. God wants you to turn that human fear into a godly fear. A godly fear that will bring you peace. A godly fear that will bring you insight into His plan. Give you knowledge into what He has for you. And how do you do that? You get into His Word daily. You come on to something like this and you learn more about Him. So today I ask you, I encourage you, what are, just name three things real quick, what are three things you can do to increase in knowledge and wisdom? And write those three things down, share them with a friend, and, and ask her, hey, what are three things that you could do to increase your knowledge, to increase your wisdom, because I want to be a woman that godly fears the Lord. I want to be a woman that God praises, that God looks down on and says, she's seeking me. She's chasing me. 
So write those three things down, maybe put them on a post-it note on your mirror or something like that, and, and ask someone, say, hey, help me with this. What are, what are some things that, that we could do together to increase our knowledge, to increase our wisdom? Get into His Word daily. Ask others to come alongside you. Ask others to speak into you. Seek out someone who you know is further along in their relationship with Christ. And they can tell you how they have increased their knowledge, how they have increased their wisdom. And when you do that, you become a woman who fears the Lord.